what is good. <clears throat> Let me clear, clear the pathway here. So this is Activation Codes, the YouTube channel. Uh, we have uh, very similar resonances and uh, vibrations and tonalities and uh, mentalities as well. Very similar to the point where it's uh, it, it's it gets a little trippy for both of us. <laughs> Indeed. So I watched some of this and uh, I was like, how? Oh. Oh, how, how very synchronistic of you to talk about these things, as I have been, which is another thing that <laughs> we both have going on. And I also just wanted to say, and I'll send uh, Zen a message here uh, on whatever the fuck platform he'll get the damn message, because I... I don't get a lot of my fucking messages, uh, I don't get a lot of my messages received um, in all platforms, so, uh, yeah, I don't know, but, uh, if the Zinny man, if Grandma Ao does happen to see this and listen in, uh, send me your shit if you can, um, if you're able to, like, send, send it to me in, uh, uh, an email, and I'll either, like, run it through a video editing thing and tweak it a little bit and see if YouTube will accept that, or I will just play it on my fucking uh, TV and then do, like, what I'm doing now and just play all of it. Kind of like what Sky Harbor just did <laughs> for me. So yeah, this guy's going to get it into the... Uh, I really dislike... Uh, well, a lot of words, to be honest. Uh, a lot of the spells are set up to uh, twist and deceive you into believing something that... Into uh, leading you into into a belief that that isn't isn't the case. It, it's the complete opposite. So I agree with uh, a lot of the stuff that that's presented here. I also just have a lot of stuff to say about it. Um, Had a lot of the same uh, revelations and realizations with the thing with these uh, things, and I'm, I'm essentially going to offer in a little bit of clarity, uh, potentially, hopefully, with this. Because I feel like uh, the realization that he's uh, that he's came to, or, or this uh, level of uh, um, integration that he's come about, um, I've already, you know, um, have have done that, so I'm able to like offer up um, another perspective or another layer for contemplation, and I'm not saying anything as fact or, or anything like that. Each and every one of us have has to do the inner work, the the research, the inner standings. We have to come about that ourselves. We can glean insights from one another. But that doesn't mean you uh hold on to someone's word or are their image. Do not do that. And that's going to be very difficult because uh, you've been brought up and ingrained in, in, with your entrainment to do this. And when you do this, you let go of your power. 
you you meld with the scripts and the bullshit and you lose more and more aspects of your beingness of the beingness the isness that we all are okay so before I start this um, I also just wanted to say that the weather has been fair here um, and that has been reflected in uh, the moods and the mentalities of the people here. Today, as in the day that just was, the weather was quite nasty, as in uh, we had a sharp drop in temperature. And uh, there was just a lot of energy, a lot of crazy energies that weren't being integrated, they were just being projected and neglected and reflected. And, uh, it really made me quite sick, and this is usually the case, uh, I experience things on on uh, a lot of different levels. So whenever I have a certain something going on in my body, I will notice that quite a few people in my locale, quite a few people that I don't have anything to do with except for certain engagements have the exact same things going on so this is a uh, state of mind thing that's happening a locality thing we don't realize and recognize the power structures that uh, are at play and just how connected we really are but and because we have a black uh, a blind spot in this awareness that's where the manipulation comes into play because uh, manipulation only happens in our blind spots once we are aware of it it has a limited time to where it can do whatever it needs to do before we uh, realize what we need to do transmute it and to get the fuck out of it okay so here we go uh, this is just preaching to the choir stuff here basically but uh yeah we'll see where we go with this And it is an absolute picture of beauty out here. But let's talk drugs. When are drugs a good thing? As soon as you say the word drugs and you're actually like um, incorporating it into your mentality you've already lost, and I'm not just talking about, like, the person presenting this here, because obviously this guy, we're very connected, uh, he knows what's up, so I mean, and, and a lot of times we present things in a manner that, uh, other people who haven't gone up through it yet are able to, like, uh, recollect and connect with what we are saying. So we may seem like uh, we are aloof or whatever, but that's just to help people along to, to have the steps there for, for people to step upon and uh, walk across the bridge into the place that we are uh, engaging and attempting to, uh, to bring 
light and awareness to. But he'll get into this here. Um, and, and if anyone follows any of my videos, you know, you know how I feel about this and, and the drugs and uh, the the scientism. It's just it's just a fucking. Uh, this is the esoterics and and the the fucking occulted reality that, that we find ourselves within. Are drugs ever a good thing? <clears throat> And are we talking pharmaceutical drugs or natural elements? My personal OP on pharmaceutical drugs is that they're more or less toxic poison. And also, you know, if anyone has listened to any of my, uh, some of my videos where I go into what poison really is, uh, it's not, it's just another one of these words that describes an effect, but, but is not accurate in the definition. So, uh, these pharmaceuticals are extra, or extracts, rather, of a, uh, a molecule or a, a potentiality within a plant. And it ignores all the other aspects that help that one molecule really shine and integrate into the human form and into the body that helps uh, understanding happen. That's done not only for uh, purpose of profit but and purpose of addiction, but also purpose of uh, disillusionment, a, a uh, distinct and direct disconnect from reality. And, and sometimes, like, that can be beneficial to, to disconnect from the kind of reality that you're used to being caught up within. So these kinds of disconnects can be useful, but it's the addiction. And this is kind of what he's going to get into here is that um, it, it's the addiction the addictive properties of these things and this also ties back into profit because when you get someone who addicted to something then you make whatever you want off of them because they they will do whatever they need to do to get that feeling back because they don't know any other way to get to access that feeling so essentially, like the pharmaceutical industry is a uh, it's a prison system for uh, the emotions and the feelings. It's a uh, it's like the industrial uh, prison complex, Pr prison industrial complex, uh, in the emotional states. It's like this is a multi-layered system here that, that we're going going through interacting within dealing with uh, trying to survive but also eventually thrive in a state of uh, recognizing what the fuck's going on and where the truth is that's where you thrive. So 
So it's, it's an attempt to capsulate the emotions and to uh, feed upon the addictions, to feed upon the weaknesses of uh, beings who are, were born weak, as in they were born incomplete, as in the intentions upon inception were not uh, clear. They, they were, uh, for, for the vast majority of modern day human, the initial energies of conception was, is, lust, and a lot of times chemicals and drugs or whatever, whatever alcohol. As a part and play in that. It's uh, rarer and rarer nowadays that children are brought about in a uh, planned way. A uh, very thought about but also f like felt and, and you can you can think about having a child but then whenever the time comes to do it uh, all the thought just just goes away because uh, the experience the the intense connection happens and then like whenever if you are lucky enough to ever bring about a being into creation with with purity and clarity that is that is the height that is one of the heights of being a human uh, it's a fulfillment that that is uh, engaged and felt that's unlike anything that you will ever experience. It will completely transform your life. It can transform your worldview of what you thought was real and possible. Um, transform your uh, ideologies and mentality of what love is. The, the many uh, layers of love. Tr the triunity of it. The two creates the one, creates the all. And I've been pretty much against them. But I've shifted my uh, thoughts about that a little bit. Because I have come to realize that, uh, yes, they, they will mess you up. Yes, they can mess you up. But... What if you're already messed up? Mm -hmm. What if you're, what if you got messed up by other means? And now, your only source of functioning and or comfort comes from taking pharmaceuticals. So this is something that I have uh, expressed to uh, certain family members because uh, because exactly because of this, uh, the person is so fucked up already that I express that anything uh, presented to them is is only going to be of benefit because this person is already so fucked up. But I've also went ahead and and said that 
this person is not going to have a lasting benefit from any of this because they don't know how to engage it. They need some kind of guidance, some kind of program to where uh, they engage it in a way that they are integrating this shit. And this comes back to shamanics. My, my other fucking videos that I just made. This, this, is, this is what it's about. Like, this is what I'm getting at here is that we are all fucked up. So these plant spirit medicines can help us realize our fucked upness and realize what we need to do to deal with that, to heal with that, to feel into that so that we can heal that. And whenever you tap into the pharmaceuticals, you are tapping into numbing your pain. And, uh, at first, the drug, the, the pharmaceutical drug, will have a certain kind of effect for you. And then, once you become addicted to it, once you, your body has adapted to it, it will have a different effect. So the downer will become an upper. And this is the same thing with uh, alcoholics. Absolutely. And at that point, you are a slave to that fucking chemical. So, uh, you're going to have to go through some kind of a powerful transition to, to position yourself out of that situation. And I just can't uh, bring myself to be against that. Now, surely there's going to be people out there that will think to themselves, I'm messed up, and therefore I need the pharmaceuticals, <clears throat> excuse me, and I... Uh, Why? Why would they think that? Why would they be led to believe that they have a certain condition, ADHD, or whatever the fuck ever, hyperactive bullshit? Oh, you need to be on Ritalin, you need to be on Adderall, you need this and that. Oh, you have an injury? Oh, you have pain? Oh, here, here's some opiates. Oh, and yes, I saw in the comments that uh, Zen, Zen, was, Zen, <laughs> Zen was all on it, so, yes. Uh, the cocaine is from the coca. The, uh, the numbing factors are, are from the opiates. The opioids. And we'll just use that as an excuse to take them. Exactly. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people that legitimately are messed up. And once again, uh, if you not if you do not realize this within yourself, then that's just another layer you're gonna have to come up out of and through. And like I just said, I, these, these uh, specified, extracted parts of plant medicines can shift the mindset and have people uh, feel uh, some level of normality. But, but what the fuck is normal in this goddamn system that we are living in? This is not fucking normal.
it's normal in the sense that it is a uh, dormant. It's it's fucking completely. Attached to a mentality that that distracts from the living matrix. And I'll also just uh, throw this out here. If you find yourself on these... Uh, kinds of pharmaceuticals and if you ever finally get off of them yeah that that's uh, another level of freedom that you will experience um, especially with uh, individuals who feel very deeply who are uh, born shamans who are people who know deep down but whenever they, they take someone else's word for for something and then they allow themselves to uh, start taking things that they are led to believe will help them but in actuality it, it numbs them down further and further into a place where they lose all their capacities of their intuition and their capacities of feeling into the etheric realms. These, this pharmaceutical industry is uh, made so that it cuts people's awareness from the etheric realms and gets people addicted. It, it creates fiends and zombies. And profits. And that is the whole fucking purpose of the goddamn system. To profit off of human suffering. If you haven't already realized that. And in order to function, they take these pharmaceuticals. So I'm, I'm cool with that. Uh, again, it's just my opinion, so it really doesn't matter at all, but I mean... Yeah, and I mean, I already just expressed, you know, what I felt about that. People are, are going to be cool with that because... They have the heartstrings, the heart connections, the people that are the, that are close to them, dealing with it and, and and going through it, and potentially at first maybe seeming to have beneficial experiences from from these things, but the long term effects are lasting. They, it takes so fucking long to come up out of. The especially if you've been taking these things for a while, these pharmaceuticals, it takes a long fucking time to come up out of it. And it's the same thing with, with uh, bullshit drugs, bullshit chemicals, like like uh, methamphetamines. It takes a long time to get fucking right, and you can fast and fast and, and cleanse your body. This stuff uh, dives its its way deep into the fucking body. It takes time. And whenever you are you become addicted to to anything, 
but especially to, to these uh, pharmaceuticals. It's going to take quite a bit of uh, effort and time for you to regain your cognizance back. The, the clarity of being pure in thought and felt connection. It's an interesting topic because it's they are so prevalent yeah. in our world today. Yeah. And I'm I guess lucky, blessed, grateful. Hmm. that I've really never had to take yep. too many pharmaceuticals. Yeah, same here. Once again, brother. <laughs> avoided it. Yeah. Just intuitively. Exactly. <clears throat> and then, of course, there's the natural substances And I've pretty much never been against natural substances. Uh, water is a natural substance. Can it be abused? Certainly could be. Exactly. Everything can be. Food is a... Well, I don't know. I guess we can't say that's a natural substance, but uh, there are some natural substances that could be called food. Uh, could those nature, be go out in nature. Abused, of course, they could too. So anything can be abused. Yes. But uh, as far as like, uh, you know, herbs and plants, that's basically what we're talking about. That's where natural substances come from. Plants, nature. So of course, I'm not against that. But again, you can abuse anything. Or you can take a natural substance like a poppy flower and turn it in. So yeah, I'll uh, leave the link for you to watch the rest of this uh, and check this guy out. But essentially, like I've said before, uh, the whole purpose of this uh, scientism, occultism, is to try to decipher and find this uh, exact thing that makes uh, a human a human, uh, um, isness isness. But that's never going to happen because uh, it's a. Is a unity that that is happening with with all things that creates this perfection, which is uh, what what this um, parasite of the human mind is seeking. But it, it will ne it will never be able to find it until it integrates with it. Then it becomes it. Then it then the seeking no longer happens because it just it realizes that it is what it is a part of. The holistic nature, the holistic healing, the feeling into it. So yeah, I'll end it with that. I pulled the card, it was the earth. So into the nature, into the truth of the holistic aspect of all things. All things yoking and harmonizing into the monad, into a perfected point 
that isn't to be idolized or worshipped, it's to be experienced. And seen for what it is. A product of all the awarenesses and essences brought into one. So this is what I encourage. The integration. It's going to take a. It's going to take a form and, and a pathway, a method that's different for everyone. Everyone's going to have their own specific things that speak to them. There's no right or wrong here. It's just we all have our own unique experiences. So there's going to be specific things that speak to us that don't speak to other people. Don't get caught up in that. Get release into the process. Go into it. Go into your process. Feel what you need to do. To feel again. To heal again. To remember what it's really all about. And there are many layers and levels of this. And as you will come to find out. But there are people out here who can help guide you back to what's really going on. So be patient with yourself, but also be vigilant with yourself. Yearn to discern your reality and move past the exoterics into the esoterics, into the inner workings. Peace.